Australia with another episode in the Chicago Bears franchise. We're now in week four of our second season and we're going to be playing the Los Angeles Rams at home in the Soldier Field in Chicago. And uh, the Rams have had a weird start to the season, 0-3. and three. Um, They don't look as bad, to be honest, but we look better for a change, so that is positive. But then again, I'm not going to under underestimate anybody anymore, right? Now, I mean, I really have learned my lesson along these franchise series here. Anyhow, let's take a look at uh, the quarterback check-in. That is all we've got to take care of this week. Um, then, the, of course, the uh, LA Rams team and then the weekly strategy. And then it's off to the game. So far, not much to do. Coach, Justin Fields has been one of the top passers in terms of yards so far this season. Is the plan to continue to be so pass-heavy? Well, I don't know. We're going to strive for balance. Ideally, we'd like to have more balance. Being a one-dimensional team will eventually catch up, to, catch up to you. So in a perfect world, that pace slows down a bit. But our offense is just as lethal. Balance diet, beat the Rams and rush for 125 plus yards. Well, okay, <laughs> we're going to take that. Do we get buffs? No, we didn't. don't get any buffs. We don't get any debuffs either. All right, nothing more to do. Let's check out the LA Rams. Okay, here we go. They've got four quarterbacks, which is interesting. I'm going to put it that way. We've got Matt Stafford as the starting quarterback. We've got Tyler Buckner, a rookie, 2172. We've got KJ Jefferson and Cole McDonald. Why do they have four? I have no freaking idea. Please someone explain that to me. I just don't know what the what the logic is here. I want to take a look at Tyler Buckner. Normal uh, death trade rookie out of Notre Dame. Number 12, that's Van Jefferson's number uh, initially. He's got good throw power, short accuracy. Looks like he could be a good prospect for the future here for the uh, Rams. At the moment, it's still Matt Stafford. 36 out of Georgia, 76 rated. Throw power is good, short accuracy. But again, I'm not going to underestimate anybody here. Uh, I, I really think that sometimes the whole uh, experience aspect really plays into the, uh, into the dynamic as well. Halfback Tony Pollard, all right, a former Cowboy, then Antonio Gibson, former Commander, and Karen Williams, probably the only one that was really on the Rams roster so far. Uh, just check that out, validate what I just said. Yeah, Cowboys, uh, since the 2023 season, he is a Ram. Antonio Gibson, uh, since also uh, 2024 season. So he's a new addition. Karen Williams is a future starter. Fullback is Brant Kuyth. Well, I never heard of him. He is a rookie, of course, out of Utah. Looking solid. Fifth best uh, ranked fullback in the league. Not too bad. What about the wide receivers? Led, of course, by Cooper Cup. 31 years old, 79 overall. Eastern Washington University. Cooper Cup is his number seventh ranked wide receiver in the league based on his overall rating. So there you go. Seventh best wide receiver still. And uh, yeah, he's he's just going to be super dangerous. Um, no doubt about that. X-Factor as well. Jerry Judy is here. He was signed. Um, I lowballed him a little bit, but he went to the Rams. A former Denver Bronco, of course. Uh, who else is here? Cajun Boot. Uh, he is a rookie from the last uh, draft, and he's looking pretty solid, to be honest. Taking Alan Robinson's number here. Uh, who else do we have? Tutu Atwell, 24-75, and Julian Fleming. Another rookie from the last draft. Tight end Harrison Bryant and is injured. 26 77. Uh, why, why did they let go of uh, their initial tight end? I don't know. OJ Howard is here, 29 73. So he's going to be the starting tight end out of Houston, Tampa Bay before that. And Eric All is uh, the third tight end. Well, okay. Left tackle, Garen Christian Sr. We've got Joe Noteboom behind him. That is no surprise. No, Joe Noteboom, I don't know. Not really sold on him so far. Washington Commander, LA Rams since 2022. Left guard, David Edwards. Former Ram, of course. Will put them behind him. They've got Brian Allen at center. Uh, Jackson Paris Johnson. All right, another center right there. Osiris Torrance, 2381. And Logan Bruss behind him. 24 and 71. I understand why they put Osiris towards there. What I don't understand is why they don't shift a little bit more. Right tackle, Brian Belaga, 
35-75. He was a free agent, I think. Yeah, journeyman a little bit. But, I mean, I don't really care this. I, I would be doing it differently, but again, that's just me. Garen Christian Sr., all right, I'd leave that. David Edwards, all right, I'd leave that. Then we've got Brian Allen. I've got Osiris Torrance here. I've got Logan Bruss here. And I could put one of, one of these on the right tackle position, and that would just make a heck more sense than going with uh, Brian Belagos, 35, and probably uh, not really going to be that productive anymore. He's slightly higher rated only than, uh, for instance, uh, Logan Bruss is here. But whatever. What about defense? We've got Trishon Clark, a rookie, 2369, and Gabe Reed, really horrible. Aaron Donald at right edge, of course. One of the best uh, edge rushers in the game. Second best. Absolute beast. I think for the first time in years, he was not the defensive player of the year. I've got Bradley Anai, 2669 as a backup here. We've got uh, Greg Gaines, of course, at the D-tackle position. And... Um, yeah, still solid, nothing more than that. Bobby Brown, 75 behind him. Patrick Lucas, a rookie, 60 rated, absolutely forgettable. Leonard Floyd at the left outside linebacker position. Deshaun Pace, 74. That is probably worthy of thinking of uh, replacing uh, the starter here because that's not too far apart. Mid linebacker, Bobby Wagner, of course, one of the best mid linebackers in the game, in real life, of course. In Madden, he's number 21, but he's still super solid with a start of trade. I loved him on the Crusaders franchise. Absolutely loved him to bits. Ernest Jones, fantastic uh, mid linebacker, sadly injured. He's, he's young, but he's really great. Justin Flo, a rookie, 86, uh, 68 rated. Michael Hoyt, Adrian as a linebacker, 79 rated. And DeMarvion Overshone, Michael Hoyt, 79. He looks. It doesn't look bad, right? He's got good attributes in there, here and there, but overall, of course, could be and should be better, probably. Jalen Ramsey, X Factor here uh, at the cornerback position. Kool Aid McKinstry, love the name. Uh, Duke Shelley is also here out of Kansas State. Where did he come from, man? Uh, Houston, Minnesota, and a bear in 21. Interesting. Josiah Scott and Jordan Hancock. I don't know. Jordan Hancock, I, I can get this one. Josiah Scott, not really. 2577. Duke Shelley. You could probably drag up uh, Hancock and take over right now as uh, CB3. Um, and probably profit a little bit of, of uh, Jalen Ramsey. Free safety. Terrell Bridges, 2581. Uh, he's, a, he's a Ram. Uh, just checking up on that one. Yes, he was so good in my rebuild uh, in, in, the, in the Rams franchise. The Rust Yeast is a backup, and Rashad Torrance, the third, is here as well. Does he have a hidden death trade? Nope, that's a normal death trade. Strong safety is Keanu Neal, that's a surprise, and Raheem Lane. Of course, they always keep uh, keep slipping uh, uh, Jordan Fuller away, so I don't really know why they do that. Now they have Keanu Neal here, who was with quite a few teams before, that is interesting. Uh, kicker Matthew Wright and the punter is Tory Taylor. So only a few uh, familiar faces right there. But what do we do in terms of the strategy? I think I think we could try and defend the short pass. Tyler Buckner is stated as the starter here. I don't really get this, but we're going to work with it. Um, we're going to go with the full pad training. Of course, left edge got to get trained. Here we're going to split D tackle. Let's go for a split. Uh, left outside linebacker starter. Split, starter, split, and split, and split. There we go. When we already have established players, I don't really need to go that much for uh, for, for the uh, starters. I could go more towards the splits. Question is, do we want to go for a run here? Blitz counter. I think I want to go with a run inside. I want to buff, of course, uh, the chances of getting the 125 running yards with the David Montgomery. We're going to have to pound them here. Uh, we're gonna go with the starter. Let's go with the split here. Starter. I know. I don't know why it always says zero zero. This is a bug, and I mean it's not a horrible one, but I just don't get it. I, I don't get it. Anybody who tests this game must must notice that immediately. But okay, whatever. Uh, let's continue to the team profile. We've got the weekly game plan goal, and of course we are gonna try and get the rushing yards. Why would we go for the passing? I don't get this. Anyhow, 24 points or less should work. 250 yards, all right. And we're going to try... What are we going to do? Um, 15 
first downs. Let's go. Let's go for the turn of a battle. I think this is. I think this is really doable. All right, let's start training. Offensive training results are in. We have, of course, uh, buffed the uh, run block uh, this week. A hit pointer for uh, who's that? Logan Brown, right tackle. He is so injury prone. Jesus Christ. Defense is looking solid. But I feel like I feel like we probably will be changing things up a little bit. Probably changing things up a little bit. Alex Ledwood. I will be I will be alright, this is it. Pierce Fisher will get his shot here. He's only 76 rated, but he's a scheme fit. Logan Brown just keeps getting injured. I don't know what the problem is here, to be honest. Um, but unless he really gets to grips with that, we're really going to have to do something about it. Uh, who else do we have here? We've got uh, Troy Franklin, Nicky Ye Hall. That is looking good. What about defense? Is everything reset again? How long until we reveal Christian Gonzalez? Any news? 154. Hmm. Okay. Let's see. Let's see what we get revealed right now. And uh, let's upgrade the players. Darnell Mooney. First upgrade of the day. Slot wide receiver. Get some more into slot. It's really, really looking nice overall. 26 and 88. That is a good situation to be in. Maxton Brannon. Going to put some more into zone here. Number 38. Rookie. That was initially a cornerback out of Clemson. <laughs> And now he's a strong safety and he's doing better than ever. There we go. Justin Jones gets some upgrades. Christian Gonzalez gets an upgrade. That is going to help him perform better. I reckon he's going to be a start of trade because why would he be something else? Jake Huggins, here we go. Utility. I just need you to be there and uh, help us with the blocking and, that, uh, and all that. Six foot five. Big dude. Soldier Field in Chicago. A home game today against the Los Angeles Rams. Monday night primetime. Here we go. Bobby Wagner, eight tackles last week. And uh, Justin Fields here showing off the home uniform. No surprise there. The Rams going to be showing off their away uniform for the uh, 22 season, of course. And they're going to be out on the field first, since they're the away team. And there we go. Here they come. Invisible. Interesting gimmick in Soldier Field. We are not invisible. This is the home team, of course, laid out by Justin Fields. And uh, I always get a little bit nostalgic when playing, <laughs> playing the Los Angeles Rams. And there we go. 0-0. Zero, zero. Taken over at 4 minutes. 26. Let's go the halfback base. We need to get the run game established anyways. It's going to be pretty hard to break through this defensive line here. Dig deep is uh, the game day factor. And off we go. David Montgomery. Here comes... Nope. Here comes nothing. I was waiting for the block by number 76. 79 yards last week. Not really the, uh, the result I wanted to see, of course. Uh, but this week we'll have to... Dig a little bit deeper with him. Fight a little bit harder with him. And uh, just, you know, get more yards done. So far, not really working well. Third and six. Halfback slip screen. Let's go. I can already tell this defense is going to be pretty hard to break down. And well done. Terrible Jess, number 33, does catch up with him here. Oh, that was Scott. Where did Scott come from? Was it Nick Scott? Fourth and two out of the 43. And of course, you might have guessed. I mean, we're not gonna we're not gonna punt. We're not gonna punt. We're gonna go straight at straight at Iron Donald. Jesus Christ! Go go go! Don't stop running, man! Why did he did he say that? He he slowed down immediately. Player was coming from the left and he stopped. Come on, man. That was that was stupid. All right. Luckily, our defense holds him. It's, it really is Tyler Buckner playing. That is interesting. That is interesting. 
Two minutes thirty. Off we go. All right. Don't find the gap. Don't find the gap right now. A read option. Where do we go? Let's go in an inside zone. Left hand side. Second and four. Off we go. Do we find the space? Yes, this time we do. We get a first down. And the Rams are, uh, they were, I think they got the record as the worst Super Bowl defensive campaign or something like that. But I mean, it, they had so many injuries. I, I know it's not an excuse because I mean, as a team, you've got to plan for that, right? And here we go. Dan Montgomery picks up the first down. Of course, stopped here by Bobby Wagner. Chased down by some other players. But um, what I will say was the Rams really had such a horrible season in 22 because they were just, I don't know, um, had many injuries, couldn't compensate. Players that they brought in weirdly didn't work out. Uh, also, the rookie players got injured. Um, for instance, Logan Bruss was injured most of the season. So that was just really... Uh, that was really painful to watch because they could probably should have done better um and then they just weren't lucky matt stafford got injured uh the backup quarterbacks were horrible up until they brought in baker mayfield i really hope that they keep him around because he was just so nice he was so good he looked great in the uniform for starters there we go all right we're not we're not going to be having a lot of success going forwards with a run play here i sadly have to say not really too surprising but aaron donald and uh of course um the d tackles alone are gonna make make that very difficult for us we're gonna go with a shallow cross here cole commit just want to see him break through not a big fan of situations like this where i have to play a certain style you know, I have to I have to go for running. Not too happy about that. Two yards. Let's go with the four dive here. Oh, they're gonna be blocking us pretty hard. Alright, but we can get this. There we go. There we go. Greg gains the D tackle. Was pressing through. Aaron Donald was uh, fighting hard here. You can see <laughs> our center. Well, that was Jenkins, Tevin Jenkins. Great gains, tussling around here. But uh, but it, he held him long enough. Held him long enough for us to break through. Four minutes left here in uh, this second quarter. Should give us a chance to get on the board, right? Blocking. Breaking through here. Well done, David Montgomery. Well, that was great. Up to the 15-yard line. Jalen Ramsey in the picture here. There we go. Well, that was good. Let's go with an inside zone split left hand side run. That is the direction I want to see us go. Oh my lord, number 34. I ran straight into that one. Only one yard on that pickup. Halfback blunt dive. Let's uh let's see if we can get something done here. And off we go. Yes, there was the gap. Again, we get a first down. First and goal, five yards to go. Two minutes, 50. Let's go. Halfback dive. The strain runs worked very well with Bijan Robinson and the Dolphins. I have a feeling that those uh, slight angular run... Oh, Jesus Christ. Michael Hoyt. Only a yard here. Fullback dive. Nope. Let's go in the inside zone split here. Can we get this underway before the two-minute drill? Yes, there we go. Yeesh. Where are we? Two-yard line. Turn and go. Good God, guys. I mean... Let's go this thing. I'm going to go straight off center here. Oh my god, Clark! Absolutely burying David Montgomery. This is a very good defense against... Uh, and fourth and goal. 
And of course, I will bring out the special teams. Gonna take a field goal here. I know we're only three yards, but it's gonna hurt me more if I don't take those points. I know it. There we go. Bam. Rather take three points and have him on the board. Well, they mess this up at the three yard line and, uh, you know, be, be stuck at zero. There we go. Defense does their job. That was nice. Let's go with the mesh spot for a change. I'd like to get on uh, the board again. Oh my! I was about to be cursing. Can we just... Can we just take a look at this one here? <laughs> Kemet was absolutely breaking through. That would have been like the longest pickup ever. It was free, all along free. I mean, it would have broken through, I don't know, but it would have gone up to here without any problems. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, second and six. Let's go with a shallow cross here. Darnell Mooney. Now I want you to go to the left. Woo! Darnell Mooney gets stuck third and six. Good God, guys, come on. Let's not uh, let's not do something stupid here. I'm gonna invite the rush, the bomb rush, and here we go. David Montgomery taken down. Jesus, man, number 46, fourth and inches. Timeout called by the Rams. Yeah, let's let's punt it. Why not? Why wouldn't we punt it? Right? It's inches. Jesus, man. Right hand side run. Oh my lord. We almost, almost wouldn't have gone that one. <laughs> Mountain inside cross. Let's go. Let's go to play action right here. Darnell Mooney. Oh, damn it. Oh, damn it. Oh, damn it. I was watching the players and not the opposing players. Uh, Aaron Donald. All right, let's just... Yeah, the clock is running down. Wouldn't have made much sense to prolong this one here. But Aaron Donald, man, he still has it, of course. Dangerous player. Dangerous, dangerous player. Okay, what do we do? The suggestion was uh, to throw it. I'm going to run it inside. Um, and we're going to keep defending the short pass. I just think that that is probably uh, probably the best idea. And it's Troy Franklin who's going to be the uh, kick receiver. There we go. Come on, come on. Can we break through? No. Nope. Stop that at the 23. David Montgomery. 75 yards. All right, we need another 50 yards. Another 50 yards. Quick base left-hand side. It is interesting because by by sort of having this target, we are super one-dimensional. Second and five. Because of this, I have to go for all of these run plays, even though sometimes I think another play would make more sense. Um... Probably, you know, going for a pass play or something like that here. But, whatever. 76, going for the block, man! Come on, Tevin. I need him. I need him to go for that block, open up that route. Because Aaron Donald can absolutely catch up with us. And he will do that. And once he gets to grips, there's no real backing up. First and ten. Left hand side. Alright, that was very nice. Well done, David Montgomery. And well done, offensive line. 101 yards. Okay, that just pushed us forward quite a lot. Let's go left hand side. And again, beautiful man. Let's... Oh, the stiff arm. That's terrible, Jess. 34. Another 10 yard run. Nice. Let's go to the mountain zone. And I can tell this is not gonna work. 
Half back stretch, right hand side. Let's try this one here. Oh, they're dragging forward the uh, the safeties, and yeah, we lose yards. Going backwards. Took too long. Took too long to develop. Left hand side. I mean, my primary target, of course. Ah, oh, come on, man. <laughs> Primary targets get 125 yards, but of course the uh, overall primary target has to be to win the game. Preferably achieve both, right? Halfback inside zone, we need three more yards. Aaron Donald is the opposing player right there. And second and three, all right, 129 yards. Target achieved. Now let's be clever about this. Jeremy Ruckert, Darnell Mooney's equanimous to Brown, Cole Komet. We've got options. Jeremy Ruckert for a safe catch. First and ten. Justin Fields not passing a lot today. Inside zone. Left hand side. David Montgomery. Oh, he's breathing super hard. We need to go for someone else. Let's go for the four verticals. There we go. Six and seven currently. Let's go with a quick slant. All right, we're not going to go with anything. Quarter comes to an end. Does this mean that uh, he will be able to rest up a little bit? Let's hope so. We're going to choose the quick slant. Is he breathing hard? No. Okay. Mesh spot drag while wheel. I don't know. Let's go the zone weak. Coming from the side, number 47, 97. I think that's Michael Hoyt. Third and five. Quick fade or this one, or do we go for the? Let's try the quick slants. Of course, they're gonna adjust here. Oh my god, man! Woo! Jesus Christ! That looked like number 19 was gonna get it. Did you see that? Oh my god. And the words leaving my mouth weren't words anymore, they were just sounds of utter horror. <laughs> But that, I mean, it was good. In the end, all is good. We're at the three-yard line. We can push in now. But, oh my god. That looked like it was going to go absolutely horribly wrong. And we push inside through the pile. Like a dozen players ahead of me. And we just push through. Right through. Come on, D. Come on, D. Oh, defense doesn't hold them anymore. 10 and 7 at the 25 yard line. Things have gotten exciting again. And there we go. Those are the three points from that field goal. I was hoping defense would be able to hold them, but not happening. And we are pushing forward here. Second and two. Half back ISO. Let's go this one here. Are we ready? I would say yes. First down, pushing forward. Number 34, Burgess this time really gets in on him. Brock Omeyer with the number 71. Uh, the drafted center. There we go. That was a good run. Let's go with the mesh. But not before we hit the two minute warning. Don't want to give them too much time. Halfback blood dive. Let's see. Left hand side. Always going straight for Aaron Donald. But, you know, if... Oh, man. Oh, this was great. Bobby Wagner came through, but David Montgomery pushed him back and away. Timeout called by the LA Rams here. As the Chicago Bears 
push to the 42 yard line left hand side run here David Montgomery left hand side Oof. that was a quick one losing two yards timeout called second and 12 and Aaron Donald is in the zone that is not good that is not good all right let's go with this one here Equinemius and Brown Go, go, go. And he holds on to the ball once more against Jalen Ramsey out of all players. And that is that is why I appreciate him so much. This this is basically the uh, best showcase right there. Fantastic. Fan freaking tastic. David Montgomery. <laughs> in the pile five yards mountain zone i form is this gonna be good i don't know jeremy rucker is gonna go in motion we're just gonna keep running the ball here we're gonna prove to the press and everybody okay david montgomery lies flat plays over let's go for uh, 94 will but to the right Oh my god. All right. Bam and bam. Cameron Dicker. He is our kicker. And we're going to go ahead. I could have waited a bit longer, right? 13 seconds. Is that going to be enough for a Hail Mary? No. Luckily not. And here we go. A win at Soldier Field at home here. And uh, Sean McVay, of course, not happy about this. But we're going to take this. I don't know why they didn't play Matt Stafford. 88% completion rating. We only threw nine passes, right? Only nine attempts, eight out of these, but still. It was positive, 56 yards. <laughs> Tyler Buckley got a touchdown, 46% completion rate. The rushing, that's what we aimed for. David Montgomery, 167 yards rushing. Touchdown achieved. Cash and Booty, the uh, top wide receiver, Cooper Cup, Equinemius and Brown. We didn't pass a lot, just didn't pass a lot. Um, on the blocking side, Larry Boren, Brown, Belaga allows sacks. Solo tackle leader, Russ Yeast. Total tackle leader, Bobby Wagner. Tackles for loss, quite a few. Sacks, one for Nick Bosa. Treshawn Clark and Aaron Donald with half a sack each. Zero interceptions today on the game. Justin Fields. I like what we have going here, coach. Teams are going to be terrified about how to defend us if we show that we can run or pass at will that's the goal most defenses only get a week to prepare for us and if we can keep showing teams new ways to be effective they're simply not going to have time to stop us yeah grand beef your entire offense line will have plus five run block power and run block finesse for the next two games grit iron grinder david montgomery will have plus five break tackle and carry for the next two games wow gonna take that super nice all right we pick up another win and the Rams pick up another loss. I don't really know why because they're not that horrible. But anyways, we are three and one going stronger and stronger. I would like to say currently I want to keep up the trend against the Arizona Cardinals, of course. Um, so right now I'm going to say I hope you enjoyed the episode because I certainly did. It's always a little bit uh, with a heavy heart when playing the LA Rams. Um, because, yeah, I just did the franchise, really enjoyed that a lot, plus they're just a team that I really like. Been following the Rams since the St. Louis days, so really, really long-time fan right there. Uh, but, yeah, now we're the Bears, we got the win, that is positive, we're 3-1, and one. 
next week, Arizona Cardinals. Uh, if you like this, drop me a like and subscribe. That means a lot to me and just helps the channel. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.